Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to install and use the Moat Chrome extension in order to make your slides and docs just a little bit more accessible for our students. So the first thing I'll do is look it up. I'm just going to type in Moat extension. First up, one that pops up is the one I'm looking for. This is in the Google Chrome store. I want to say yes, add to Chrome and yes, add extension. It will need to think for a little bit, it takes a few seconds. And once it actually loads, it will ask us to sign in. It'll ask us to log in and you want to be using your school credentials to do that. Still thinking. Still thinking. I love using this extension because it provides auditory instructions for kids. So our kids who aren't quite reading at a high enough level yet to access text. And it says, welcome. Hello. Now I had already logged in. So just to show you what a login process looks like, you can choose either student or teacher. So yes, our students can add this as well. I do acknowledge I've read and agreed to the Moat Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Sign in using Google. I'm using my credentials for school. There we go. And then all I have to do is go back to the document I was working on. So this is a little light and sound thing for our grade four students. And then I want to refresh it. I'm just going to refresh that again. Once I log in again, I should see it popping up as a little option, the little symbol at the very top. There it is. There's that little purple symbol right there. And when I hit that, it says, welcome to Moat for Google Slides. Hit next. Yes, your microphone is working. If it's not, it'll let you know. And I click next. And this is really easy to use on a Chromebook. Super, super fast. Sign in with Google. I'm choosing my account again. So you do have to do that a few times just the first time you use it. After that, you don't need to. There we go. All right, so I should be in now. Let's try again. Great. And this is how simple it is. All I'm going to do is click on this purple icon. I start to record. I click to stop. And that's it. That's all. ESL, ELD, Introduction to Light and Sound. Students will learn about some of the properties of light and sound and how we use light and sound in our everyday lives. Step one learners are creating diagrams with copied labels, completing sentence stems, and using visual vocabulary charts. Step two learners are creating label diagrams, writing short phrases, and completing sentence stems. Step three learners are creating label diagrams and writing complete sentences. Now that's processing it. All I do is click insert. So I can play if I want to hear it. I can trash it if I made a mistake or just insert it. Abracadabra, hold tight while they auto magically insert the moat. And that's a little voice note that goes right at the top. I can make it bigger if I want. And so as students log into this or teachers or anyone, they can click on that to hear the instructions. Now, this is just this front matter page here was more for teachers to understand what the learning goals were so that students wouldn't necessarily have to hear all of that. Um, but let's say here a student was using this slide. Watch this video on light and talk about the following questions. Well, most kids know to press play. They see a little video like that and they go, yeah, 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 I know I need to press play, but I don't know what all this is. Maybe they can't read that yet. So we're going to provide them with that scaffold. We're going to read it for them. Let's say. Watch this video on light and talk about the following questions with your group. Where does light come from? Can we feel light? Do we need light? And I've stopped recording. And again, I can insert this right in. And because most of our students are used to things like YouTube, um, if they've had access to their computers for a little while, if we place that over there, then when students see this slide, they can click right on that. This is what they see. Watch this video on light and talk about the following questions with your group. Where does light come from? Can we feel light? Do we need light? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you have questions, feel free to contact me, Kimiko underscore Shibata at wrdsb.ca.